So to make the actual no drill mole of our sample, I've got my iron ethylene dithiolate uh, hexacarbonyl here, just uh, something to get a sample of or a spectrum of. Add a little bit of that to our little mortar and pestle here. That should be funny. Just a little bit, maybe 10 milligrams, 5 milligrams, somewhere in that range. <coughs> We'll take our new tool. And we'll add, I think that was probably six drops, seven drops. And we'll take our wooden pestle here and grind this together until it until we can no longer see individual particles and it just looks like a solution. Now it's going pretty quickly, it looks like. That took a few minutes to grind up. Depending on your compound, that might be easier or harder to do. So I've got my mold made. I'm gonna get my salt plates out. Get a little foam cover out. There we go. Take them. Give them a quick rinse in acid or uh, hexanes here. Not oh, acetone hexanes. Here, Just a little bit of our mole here. We'll put three or so drops on there. Take our other plate. Set it on there. And turn 90 degrees or so to get that mold spread out between the plates. Go back over to the spectrometer. Just carefully put the plates into the holder and into the spectrometer. <coughs> we'll go ahead and hide that and collect our sample. Here's our final spectra. spectrum. Had to uh, fiddle with the settings a little bit. See our carbonyl peaks there. Anyway, there's the sample prep for neutral. So now that we're finished collecting our data, we need to clean the plates, pull them apart here, suck them over there. Just rinse them with hexanes. You can also rinse them with chloroform. Use the hexanes since they've got candy. Give them a healthy rinse here. The other side.
To avoid scratches, it's important that we don't rub the plates with anything. That's why we just rinse them and put them back in their container. And then this, you would want to put in a desiccator to uh, store them so that they don't uh, get, so they last longer. Mm. That's all for neutral. Um, this, I guess you would also want to clean. Uh, just rinse with hex sand would probably be fine as well.